The snow is on the way. Yeah, you may have heard. Yes, we are preparing <laughs> you for the winter storm. It's making its way in Northeast Ohio at this hour. Come on, you guys, get excited. We're ready, we're <laughs> ready, because I have you covered on the road conditions. But Holly, you're leading the charge this morning. And we talked about this last week. You remember, we were yeah. all saying, okay, it's a good thing kids are out of school today. And the storm is affecting us here, and it's blanketing parts of the whole country right now, all the way to Texas. But locally, ODOT has crews out to keep us safe on the roads and uh, we're keeping you safe too with team coverage Austin Love and Lindsay Buckingham are standing by with live snow conditions and tips for you and my colleague and friend Jason Frazier is in to check what you're reporting online so make sure that you get those photos to Jason as you're waking up we tell you all the time, you know, as you're safely taking a photo from uh, your own window or maybe just stepping out to let your own dog out. It's interesting for us to see where these snows are starting. And this is an equal opportunity snow. We've got winter storm warnings in place today through tomorrow afternoon. Let me get rid of that so that you can center in on the snow that's already falling. And we are seeing snow showers right now around Sandusky and through parts of northern Lorain County. So those of you in Lorain and Amherst, Vermillion seeing snow, Avon Lake, Avon into North Ridgeville, Bay Village, all reporting snow. And just kind of a wider view that shows, you know, this first little wave that will be with us through this morning. Then we're going to get this lull into the afternoon afternoon and then it's that second punch and it's that one that's really going to uh, do a number on our snowfall total numbers and uh, also commuting for this evening. We're going to talk more about it, but over the next few hours, you can see the snow evolving and temperatures more or less steady in the 20s. Like I said, into the afternoon, we get that little scattered snow or maybe a few flurries the break. But by the time we get into the evening, snow is likely and it's going to stay moderate to heavy snow as we head into tonight. We'll talk much more about that coming up, but first let's get a check of your drive. Traffic is sponsored by Take 5, the stay in your car 10 minute oil change. Well, good morning to you, and this is the picture you are going to be seeing all morning long. The weather map on top of the traffic map, so you can see how weather conditions are impacting your commute if you do have to leave. The good thing about this morning is that it is President's Day, so many people have the day off, so hopefully we'll see, we will see light traffic today. As you can see to the west, that's where that snow is kind of creeping in. Here's that live camera, I-90 at the Turnpike in the Elyria area, so you are seeing a little bit of uh, icy conditions on uh, the roadway here. Some slow traffic 90 westbound getting to the turnpike, but it's not causing big delays. I wanted to show you this picture out of Toledo. So this is I-75 at Wales Road. So you can see uh, where, you know, it's kind of uh, blurry here, but I was seeing a lot of snow there. So we can look to the west to see uh, where we will be seeing those conditions uh, coming that we will be experiencing in the next few hours. So as you can see, Dave, this snow coming in and we have to be prepared for a tricky commute today. Yes, indeed. OK, Danielle, thank you. And we continue our team coverage this morning. Danielle looking at the roads, but now we're going to go outside and really take a look at them. Yeah, because that's what's most important if you are headed out today. Austin Love starts that part of our coverage in Copley with how ODOT is preparing. And I already saw the trucks out there, Austin. Yeah, I see the trucks. Yeah, there are about 300 trucks on the road right now for ODOT. But right now, really what the story is, at least where I'm at right now, is really the calm before the storm. You can take a live look right now at I-77 and as traffic just going as normal. Very few uh, flakes, if anything, is taking place right now. But that's not going to be the issue for very long. Uh, we are expecting a lot of snow to be coming for um, very quickly here this, through this morning and then going through Tuesday. As I said earlier, ODOT, about 300 trucks on the road right now throughout Northeast Ohio. They tell us that they will continue to do their best to keep the roads clear, but it might, might not be perfect. So be sure that you are being patient and also give yourself extra time on the roads. Our crews are doing their best to keep those roads passable, not perfect. They're going to do everything they can to make sure that you can get from point A to point B safely, but you're definitely gonna see snow still on the roadways. So if you do have to head out Monday and Tuesday, Set that expectation that the roads are not going to be in perfect condition. 
All right, yeah, don't expect perfect, but also just make sure that you have your patience on the road again this morning. We're pros, we've been through this before, <laughs> Maureen, but again, it's always a good reminder for everyone to add that extra time, add 15, 20, half hour, whatever it may be, onto your uh, trip at some point later on today. But again, that's the look from I-77 right now. Maureen, back to you, I'll be back at 5.30. All right, being an early bird pays off this morning. Austin, thank you so much. All right, well, Northeast Ohio weather can be a mixed bag, as you know. So before you head out the door, make sure that you have what you need in case of an emergency. Our Lindsay Buckingham is live with that crucial information. And Lindsay, every time we do this story, there's always something where I think I don't have that in my car. Yeah, absolutely. Good morning, Maureen. We're on Sperry Road in Westlake. The snow is just starting to trickle down a little bit, but check out behind me on I-90 westbound. Lanes are clear. Cars are moving along quite nicely, but that may not be the case in a few hours. So before you head out today, if you have to drive in that winter weather, make sure you are prepared in case of an emergency. For example, if you have a car issue, a flat tire, or get stuck in the snow, you might have to wait a while for help, so these essentials can be life-saving. Stock your car with a cell phone charger, a blanket, a first aid kit, bottle of water and some snacks, an ice scraper, a flashlight with extra batteries, and traction aid. Now that's something that can help your tires get unstuck if you get stuck in snow and ice. Now, we're gonna stick here and monitor the conditions here, but for right now, Jason, things are looking really good, but good information there if you have to head out today. Hey, you know what? Uh, I am looking forward to the snow. I get very giddy every single time. I look at the radar and I'm like, Ooh, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Uh, you know, we are monitoring all of the social medias in terms of how uh, some of your pictures are going to be rolling in. And I want to show you a picture uh, that one of our viewers has sent us uh, last night of the calm before the storm. Thanks so much to Gabe. Uh, this was looking over at uh, downtown Cleveland. So uh, certainly appreciate you uh, sending that in and if you have a weather photo throughout today the best way to send it to us is going to be to upload it to the WKYC app you can use the second option uh, that is on there so you can also tag me on uh, Facebook Twitter as well as Instagram at Jason Fraser TV so you've been hearing uh, us talk a lot about the fact that we are under a winter storm warning you can see it right there on your screen it basically covers every single county and this is going to go until uh, tomorrow afternoon to about one o'clock but what exactly does that mean Mean. I know a number of you are like, ah, oh, that's some insider baseball, right? What, what exactly does that mean? So let me tell you this. The National Weather Service is the one that issues these watches and warnings. And when you have a winter storm warning, basically what that means is you could potentially be getting about six inches of snow within a 12 hour period, or you could be getting about eight inches of snow within a 24 hour period. Bottom line, I think for everyone throughout Northeast Ohio, today. This is going to be a system that's going to impact us all. Like Holly has been mentioning, it's the second punch that we are worried about. Last thing I want to tell you about is once we get done with the system tomorrow, we got Thursday to worry about. Thursday is going to be a mix of not only some snow, but also some ice as well. Dave. Okay, Jason, we'll see you in a little bit, little bit. Thank you. And for all coverage of this storm today and tomorrow, head to WKYC.com. We have a live blog up for all you need to know.